And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday. It's the 30th of March, 2021. It's the birthday of Anna Sewell, born in Yarmouth, England, 1820, author of Black Beauty, the autobiography of a horse narrated by the horse himself. It's the birthday of the playwright Sean O'Casey, born in Dublin, 1880, author of many plays, including The Shadow of a Gunman, story of a poor poet mistaken for an Irish Republican Army fighter who decides to go along with it since it's getting him some attention from a pretty woman. It was part of his Dublin trilogy, which included Juno and the Peacock and the Plow and the Stars. It's the birthday of the man who said, To do good work, one must eat well, be well housed, have one's fling from time to time, smoke one's pipe, and drink one's coffee in peace. Vincent van Gogh, born in Groot Zundert, Holland in 1853, never had any formal training. In art, he taught himself to draw, moved to Paris, then to the south of France, began painting sunflowers committed himself to an asylum, 1888. He suffered from manic depression, but he was working at an incredible pace during all this time, made his famous painting Starry Night. Two years later, he left the asylum. He was still painting at a frenetic pace, turning out a painting almost daily. And one July afternoon, 1890, he shot himself, dying of the wound two days later. And it was on this day in 1858, Hyman Lippmann of Philadelphia patented the first pencil with an attached eraser, the common yellow pencil, hexagon-shaped to keep them from rolling off the table. A single pencil can draw a line 35 miles long, write about 45,000 words. John Steinbeck loved pencils, started every day with 24 freshly sharpened ones, and used 60 pencils a day to write The Grapes of Wrath. Here's a poem for today by Jonathan Potter, a little venture into a sort of limerick form entitled When I Was Broke. When I was broke and money spent, I pawned my board to pay the rent, to buy some beer, to ease my ache. I sold my car for pity's sake and walked to where the road was bent. When darkness hit and made a dent against whatever light had meant, I laid down hearts and let them break when I was broke. When I awoke not to repent, the sunlight seemed not heaven-sent, but blinking in, I let it make my heart lick frosting from the cake that someone left outside my tent when I was broke. Such a good poem, I'll read it twice, When I Was Broke. When I was broke and money spent, I pawned my board to pay the rent, to buy some beer, to ease my ache. I sold my car for pity's sake and walked to where the road was bent. When darkness hit and made a dent against whatever light had meant, I laid down hearts and let them break when I was broke. When I awoke not to repent, the sunlight seemed not heaven-sent, but blinking in, I let it make my heart lick frosting from the cake that someone left outside my tent when I was broke. When I Was Broke, a poem by Jonathan Potter from his collection Tulips for Elsie, published by Corrective Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.